This little video is about an important part of graph theory uh, which talks about planar graphs. Now a planar graph is one which can be drawn in the plane with no intersecting or overlapping arcs. This is an example of a planar graph because none of the arcs uh, intersect or overlap each other. There's no crossing points uh, with the arcs. Here's another one. Again, no intersections or overlaps. And here is yet another one. Once again, none of those arcs intersect each other or overlap each other. Now there's an important rule called Euler's relationship, uh, which applies to all planar graphs. Now, all planar graphs obey Euler's relationship, which says that the number of regions plus the number of nodes is the same as the number of arcs plus two. So let's see this in operation with one of the shapes we've already seen. We saw a few moments ago that this shape was planar. Now, there's Euler's relationship, regions, nodes, arcs. Let's see if this obeys that. Well, regions, first of all. This has three regions, two triangles inside, and you always count the outside of the shape as a region as well. So one, two, three regions. Number of nodes, quite obviously there are four of them. Number of arcs, well, if you count up all the arcs, there are five of them. Now, is it true that 3 plus 4 is the same as 5 plus 2? Yes, it is, so it's planar. And here's another graph we looked at. Uh, let's see if it obeys the relationship too. Well, how many regions? Well, if you count up all those regions, there are six triangles and one outside. That makes seven regions. The number of nodes is seven, easy to count. Got to be careful counting arcs sometimes, but there are 12 of them in that. Is it true that 7 plus 7 is the same as 12 plus 2? Yes, it is. So that planar shape also obeys Euler's relationship. Let's now look at a family of graphs called complete graphs. Complete graphs are graphs where each node is connected to each other node. And there's a simple one. It's a complete graph with three nodes uh, because each of them is connected to the other two. We tend to give it the uh, label K3 which is the complete graph with three nodes. Now, is it planar? Yes, obviously it is. It can be drawn uh, on the plane easily, as any triangle can. Let's just have a look at Euler's relationship. Well, it's got two regions, inside and out, three nodes, three arcs. Two plus three is the same as three plus two. So yes, it obeys Euler's relationship as well. Uh, this is the complete graph with four nodes. Uh, each of the four nodes are connected to the other three. And at first glance, at first glance it's, it's not planar at all because you have this overlap in the centre. However, all you have to do is move one of the nodes and pretty soon it becomes obviously planar. Notice that we could just as easily have shown that K4 is planar, not by moving one of the nodes, but just by redrawing one of the arcs, and if you just redraw it as a curve outside, you can see that that's now planar and obeys Euler's relationship. This is the next complete graph, the one with five nodes. Let's see if we can draw that in the plane. Well, let's start dragging some of the nodes and see if we can get uh, rid of all those overlaps. I was not having much success so far. Can move E out, move A into the middle. No, we're still getting overlaps, whatever we do. In fact, it is known that it is impossible to draw K5 in the plane. However, if we draw K5 with one of the outer arcs removed, it does now become possible to draw it in the plane. Let's see how that happens. Yes, that's now a planar graph. And again, if we draw K5 with one of the inner arcs removed, this time we've removed BD, now we can draw that in the plane. Let's see how that can happen. Drag A to there and D to there, and it's now quite clearly a planar graph. Let's now look at a family of graphs called bipartite graphs, uh, where the nodes are split into two different sets. Now in this case, all the nodes on the right have connections to nodes on the left, and all the nodes on the left have connection to nodes on the right. But there are no vertical connections. A and B are not connected, and there are no connections directly between C, D, and E. 
So effectively there are two sets of nodes and we call it a bipartite graph because of that uh, split of the two sets. Now that is what we call k2, 3 and we're interested in is it planar? Well it doesn't look like it at this stage but all we have to do is to drag one of the nodes. Yes this is a complete bipartite graph k2, 3. We can see that it's planar. Should we just check uh, Euler's relationship for it? Well, it's quite easy. There are three regions, two inside and one out, five nodes and six arcs. Three plus five is the same as six plus two, so yes, it does obey Euler's relationship and is planar. This is another complete bipartite graph. This time it's K210, as each of the two on the left are connected to the ten on the right, and each of the ten on the right are connected to the two on the left. Uh, K210. Is it planar? Well, it doesn't look like it at the moment. There are lots of overlaps. However, just drag one of the nodes across and you will see that it is planar. And in fact, any complete bipartite graph, which is K2 anything, in other words, if one of the sets of nodes is just two, uh, then it can be made planar just by dragging one of those two nodes across to the other side and it becomes planar. This graph, however, is K33, with three on each side. Uh, it looks much simpler than the last one we looked at, but in fact, whatever you do to it, you can't make it planar. You're always going to get some overlap between the nodes. There's nothing you can do to uh, stop overlaps, and so K33 is not planar. In summary, a planar graph is one which can be drawn in the plane with no intersecting or overlapping arcs. And all planar graphs obey Euler's relationship, which states that regions plus nodes is the same as arcs plus two. Two results that we've seen as well. Complete graphs Kn are not planar if n is more than or equal to five. We saw that K5 is not planar and anything which is a complete graph with n more than 5, is also not planar. Complete bipartite graphs of the type uh, k, m, comma, n are not planar if both m and n are more than or equal to 3. We saw that k2 anything is, uh, is planar, but k3, 3 is not. And anything where the m and the n number are more than or equal to 3 uh, is not planar. Planar graphs play a big part in graph theory because an awful lot of networks are planar.